Welcome back Vikings, I'm Andrew Wagner. And I'm Camille Ravar, and we are here to bring you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know to get you through your week. Attention all PHS students, we're hosting an all-nighter lock-in from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. on May 20th to the 21st. Come for pizza, games, prizes, and hanging out with friends in the PHS Commons. Pay $10 to the bookkeeper for your ticket. If you are going for a varsity letter and community service this semester, please submit your volunteer hours by May 6th. After processing all submissions, you will receive an email verification that your hours have been accepted or an email asking for more information. Before spring break, HOSA held their annual spring health fair. Allie Larkin, Molly Sills, and Iris Diaz tell us more. In case you missed it, I went to the HOSA spring health fair to learn more about what HOSA is all about. That it's basically just a club for people that are interested in becoming uh, someone in the medical field or doing some sort of medical profession or are mainly just interested in it. To me, HOSA is like a club where I can learn a lot more about, like I said earlier, the health profession and it's helping me solidify my desire to be a nurse practitioner and it's also helping me be able to help my community. Like being able to serve and work in the blood drive was amazing because I got to learn about like what it's like to draw blood and see what happens to people and they go through that. And so I just thought it was super fascinating and I love this club. I love learning and getting to do so many different things here. It's a big part of my life, definitely. Do you think students should be required to go through this fair and learn about HOSA? Yes, because even if you don't plan to go into a medical career, I still think it's really important and there's a lot of value in being able to uh, expand your knowledge and learn about health because it applies to all of us every single day. Like you might, like we all get sick, we all get a cold and or we all exercise or do some sort of high activity. So it's really helpful to go through these different booths and like go to the chocolate milk booth and be able to learn like, oh my goodness, this is a way better than Gatorade to drink after exercise. Or it's great to do the hand washing because as you know, with COVID, it's great to learn and be like, oh my goodness, this is really how I wash my hands. So I just think it plays such a pivotal part in our everyday lives that it's really good to be able to learn. Uh, my favorite activity and station honestly had to be the hand washing activity because you put some stuff on your hands and it shows you the light, like the UV light shows you how dirty your hands are and then you go wash to see how good you wash your hands and you come back and it shows you if you wash your hands good or not. But then I also like the pig station with the lungs because it showed you how bad your lungs look if you're vaping and smoking, which is, you know, very common nowadays. So there's a lot of information that I didn't know that I learned today. Are you interested in being a part of the tradition that is Puyallup football? If playing football in the fall interests you, please begin to prepare for the season now. Puyallup football is hosting after-school workouts at the PHS gym on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We're also hosting open fields to catch, throw, work, and bond on Mondays and Fridays at 5.30 at Spark Stadium. Summer football starts May 31st. See you there. Since AP testing is starting today, we went around the campus and asked students how they were dealing with the stress. It is difficult. You got lots of homework and a lot of hard work and dedication. There is a lot of homework and the AP tests, just thinking about them is really stressful. Definitely uh, the amount of notes you take. The most stressful thing is that the class itself works at such a fast pace, so it's hard to grasp all of the information and be able to properly understand it. I think it's really managing the workload, especially since most kids in AP classes take more than one AP class at once. You have to really learn to manage your time in order to get everything done on time and before the AP exam. I think probably time management and studying is really a lot of the stuff I've had to work on in AP classes. I mean, I've taken a, I think, eight now. Uh, and so I think that's probably been the biggest adjustment is kind of having to, you know, take responsibility for my own studying habits and time management instead of sort of having someone take care of a lot of that stuff for me. It's way more independent than individualized. And now over to the sidelines with Ali Larkin. Hello, 
Mikes and welcome back to the sidelines. Great job to all of our track athletes that competed in the Invitational this weekend. Girls Water Polo defeated Enumclaw 13-4 and South Kitsap 14-7. Boys Soccer beat Graham Capallison 7-0 and tied Bellarmine 1-1. Girls Tennis won their match against Emma Bridge 6-0 and South Kitsap 4-1. Boys Baseball beat South Kitsap 2-1. Girls Softball defeated Sumner 13-0. Thanks for joining me on the sidelines and good luck to all of our Viking athletes. Thank you for watching this week's episode of VNN. Stay Purple Bikes. Right, stay Purple Bikes. Stay Purple Bikes. Stay Purple Bikes. <laughs>